up, what's up YouTube, it's your girl Faye, how are you guys? Hopefully you're all doing great, I'm doing well, I'm just coming in here to show you guys my hair. Okay, so if you haven't noticed already, my hair is straight, I flat ironed my hair this weekend, well today, well, Mojo flat ironed my hair this weekend. Um, pause, okay. I know I live in South Florida and it's very hot right now. I did not flat iron my hair because I wanted it to look straight or blah, blah, blah. I flat ironed my hair for the purpose of trimming my hair because my ends really suck. Okay, like to me it was really bad. So I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. But before I do that, let me go through what I did. Okay, so first off, I had a wash and go last week. So, my hair was all over the place, detangled. So, what I did first off was I deep conditioned with this. I had to use a lot of packets. Um, you know, I just wanted to try it out. I'd never really tried it out before. Um, so, I used this. This is the um, Milk Protein and Olive Oil Really Deep Conditioning Treatment. I used this and I left it on for about an hour. And then I detangled, you know, um, detangled my hair. Okay? Then, because I was flat ironing, I didn't want to make sure, I wanted to make sure that my hair didn't have any residue or anything, whatever. So, I used this, the um, Shea Moisture Organic Black Soap Deep Condition, Deep Cleansing Shampoo is what it's called, for dry, itchy scalp. Um, this, I like, I really, really like the way it left my hair feeling, my hair did not feel stripped at all when I use this. I have another shampoo that I normally use for clarifying, but I wanted to try this out, so... I did love it okay so after I did that washed it out um, I wanted to again give it another deep cleaning so one of um, our fellow youtubers Shelly Sh Shelly or Shelby oh lord I don't I don't I know her real name but I don't know if she tells her real name on YouTube so she knows who she is I'll put her name right here check out her videos she um, lives here in South Florida we belong to the same meetup group she always talks about this, which is, um, it's called Deity America Deep Penetrating Conditioner for Damaged Hair. It's an herbal formula. This stuff really is good. It really, really is good. Um, what it is, is after you shampoo, rinse, um, you're supposed to put it on damp hair, comb it through, and cover it with a plastic cap, um, and once it hardens, you can wash it off. It's supposed to work really, really well on um, split ends. If you look up here, I don't know if you can see that. It's supposed to help mend split ends and all that. Um, I slept with this on my hair because I really was tired at that point. So, <laughs> I slept with it on my hair. And, um, yeah. So, when I woke up that mo yesterday, well, this morning, this Sunday. When I woke up this morning, I washed it all out. Um, again, went through, in while I was in the shower, made sure everything was out of my hair, deep, you know, combed it out really, really good, um, and that was it. Got out the shower, I used my Not Today Kimmy Tube Method, the leave-in conditioner, to coat through each section, um, and then I sprayed it liberally with this, which is the, um... Ooh, Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. Okay, I've had this for a while. So I, I did it with that. And then I used that to blow dry my hair. Let me show you guys my blow dryer. The blow dryer that I use is um, Conair Iron... Oh, Eon Shine 1875. It comes with lots of different detachments. This is the... Um, oh, oh, here... This is the comb detachment that it has. It has metal pieces here. I wasn't too concerned about that because I wasn't using it to necessarily straighten out my hair completely. I just wanted to use it so that I could um, get it out. So I blue dry my hair on medium. Not cool, not hot, medium. Okay, so. And it has the um, cool blast button there as well. This worked fine. Blow dried my hair section by section starting from the root and working down in a downward motion all the way around um at the end i'll show you pictures of the whole process okay well of well of my hair before and after it was um flat ironed um so after i did that 
got in my car, went to Mojo's, well, went to Sally's, and I picked this up. This is a ceramic tool straightening, um, straightening and cutting comb. Um, this is what we use to help, see it? This is what we use to help, um, flat iron my hair and trim my hair as well. Um, what we did was we, um, my hair was all dry. I purchased this, which is the heat protectant spray, um, silk elements. I've seen a lot of people use this before. I've used their products before when I was permed, and I still deep condition with their deep conditioner, and I like it. It's fine. Um, I could have used oil as a heat protectant, but I really didn't because I used the Kimmy Too Leave-In, and that has a lot of oils and stuff in it, so I didn't really feel like my hair wasn't moisturized. Like, I felt like, I, I felt okay, <laughs> so I didn't think I had to go the extra mile of going to get grapeseed oil or avocado oil or anything like that. I didn't do it, so we'll see how it works, okay? So, um, what we did was, what, what Mojo did was she basically, um, sprayed each section and it was tiny sections it wasn't big sections at all um and what she did was you put this on your hair and she would comb i would feel her combing it through it once to make sure that it was really detangled combing through it once and putting the uh flat iron here and then flat ironing it okay one time Okay, so let me show you guys the flat iron that I use. Um, I got this also from my meetup member. Um, I'll put her link right here, same person. This is the H H2 Pro Presto is what it's called. I think this is one inch, of course. Um, this is what we used to, to flat iron my hair. So um, I can't do it myself, but I'm going to show you all what it looks like when um when i say she put it through so what you do is you put it through like this and then you run it through okay that's it it's not plugged in by the way i just want to let y'all know that it's not, it's not plugged in um i flat ironed my hair on 370 and yeah i'm very very happy with it like right now it looks like it's all over the place but i'm very happy with it i again i didn't do it for a straight flat out look I did it to get it as straight as possible which in this case I was amazed because like I said only one time went through each each section of hair once with the flat iron that was it so I don't you know feel like my hair is damaged or anything will cross fingers toes legs all that good stuff and hope that it's not um, we were able to cut off about a half an inch a little bit more in some areas um i didn't get all the ends it's not like perfectly even but you know it is what it is it looks a lot lot better so let me show you guys the live and then i have pictures to show you at the end as well okay so turn around this is what it looks like in the back i'll give you a side view i don't know if you can tell you know you probably can't tell until you see the pictures but yeah so that's pretty much it um i really really am loving it okay so let me show y'all the roots the roots like um my girl chanel was saying um if you look you don't see any type of waves any type of anything i mean the hair is just this flat iron, to me, was really, really good. Like, nothing. You don't see any, anything at all. Um, I like it. I, I really do. Um, the flat iron, I thought, did a really good job. What I'm going to do tonight is, um, I'm going to wrap it. I don't really know what to do with it. It's so funny because I don't know what to do with straight hair anymore. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it tonight. And, um, we'll see how it comes out in the morning. Um, hopefully you guys like. If you have any questions, please contact me and let me know. Again, I did not flat iron to have this long, straight look. It's 80-something degrees here in South Florida. 
I know it's not going to last. I just really wanted to um, be able to get at my ends and, you know, cut what needed to be cut. And I think I accomplished that. I think we did that. Um, oh, sorry. I'm just rambling. But also to cut the hair, we did the same thing. She ran it through and then she used that to cut the ends. Okay, so this thing was $6.99 at Sally's. I saw somebody else talk about it. It works really well. On um, I saw somebody else talk about it on YouTube, and they paid like $25. I don't know what the difference is. This was $6.99 at Sally's, so jump on it. <laughs> so, alright, so that's it. I'm out. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to do a vlog in the morning so you guys will be able to see it. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Comments, questions, whatever. Let me know. All right. Bye.